the comparisons are absolutely valid. This was both bands in very, very different eras, making weird, angular, non-commercial music that just happened to sell millions and millions of copies across the globe, and that they were both musically uncompromising. For both, you didn't know where they were really going to go from one album to the next. But the, the significant difference is, is that there's never seemed to be any battle for the leadership of Radiohead. There hasn't been people pulling in, in musically different ways. You have Pink Floyd, who I think the best musical example and the best musical forebears of Radiohead, but they conducted themselves in such different ways. 